As you guys could see, fall is here. All the leaves have fallen. We got this area. And you can see uh, all those leaves. Not today, but maybe this weekend. I do want to trim that iris, put it in a smaller pot, and take half of it up and put it back in there for winter rice because it's just so overgrown. And it does come out of its pot already, which is fine. However, it's so big that it falls over. I like it to be a little bit cleaner. And tonight, the uh, dwarf papyrus right there. We're going to bring that in. It's going to be like 39 degrees tonight. And then that other tropical plant that I've had since the very beginning. I'm going to take that in. So there's the papyrus. We took it off. As you can see too, it has been growing out of its pot. So we're going to put that in a bigger pot. So that next year, it's going to do well in the pond. But that's going in tonight inside the house. I put this in the bucket so it's easier to move. A gallon bucket. You can see how much leaves are falling. So we started winterizing the pond. We're going to keep continuing the next few days. We're supposed to have a frost tonight again, 36. So we'll see how the yellow plants hold up in the bog paper. But we're going to go ahead and uh, remove that iris. It's grown so much in the last uh, couple of years. You can see some of the Some of it had growing out of the pot, so I'm gonna remove that and trim it down a bit and put it in the container. I'm just gonna use that as a plank right now, but I should really get myself uh, some 2 by 10s flat one. Than that, but uh, you can see there's a lot of oil and oil. I'm still debating whether to keep this plant here or not. But this sort of things that came out of there, and this is just on the side. You can tell a lot of roots. All those, look how healthy those roots are. All these roots are filters, natural filters. For all the nutrients in the water. I'm still cleaning those. There's a lot of them that's overgrown and I'm not really close. I'm gonna take it out and replant it, but the roots have uh, pretty much established themselves on that shelf. So, so I think I'm gonna give it one more year to see how it goes next year. It's the first time I really feel this, this bad. This much, so we'll see. I've taken some of the other roots that are coming out of the pot on the side there. As you can tell, there's still a lot out there, so we'll see. Like I said, that iron just pretty much established itself on that shelf. So, um, we'll see next year how it grows. I don't like how it's growing. It's too wild, and I'll take it out. But right now, I'm having a hard time taking that out without tearing up the whole shelf system. So, I guess that's going to stay one more year. And then these ones right here, we're going to replant because we never know when we're going to need more of these iris. That's how it's looking right now. We'll see what the cloth does tonight. To the cattle plants. But we'll continue to do winter ice upon next few weeks I'm sure it's gonna have like some warm weather so it's getting chilly out right now. Oh, that's looking. So you guys could see 
I haven't put the cover yet for the pond, but you can see all the leaves have been falling. It's been a windy day today. Um, it's some warm weather this week. So I still want to leave the cover off. But we're yeah, cleaning this up. And let all those leaves out. Today is October 16th and it is 42 degrees right now. We've been in the 40s and it, actually last night it dropped to about uh, 36, 37 degrees. Um, haven't been feeding them. As you can see they're still somewhat a little bit active, moving a little bit slower but they're at the bottom. And daily I've been cleaning getting rid of the fallen leaves you can see they're kind of everywhere there haven't put up the cover yet and the pumps still running so we can enjoy them a little bit longer but I've been cleaning this area on a daily basis taro plant still alive even with the cold evenings that we get so we'll keep that in there as long as we can until we get a really bad frost and those things uh, just wilt down and uh, we'll take him off easily take him off because it's just uh, inside a pot there we'll take it out of the water and, and then we'll see what the what the bulbs look like and winter them so that we can reuse them again for next year so we'll go ahead and uh, clean the pond right now there it is, a little bit cleaner. I'm sure tomorrow morning will be full of leaves again. And there's my dad. So that is our taro plants and our elephant ears. And my dad is going to cut them because we're winterizing them. As you can see by the leaves, we've already hit the frost because they're curled up and pruny right now. And they would look better, but it's becoming like really cold outside. So they started to like become Pringle stuff. Not Pringle. You can see the stems, guys. Uh, next year we're already looking at recipes. We're gonna try to use these next year and make uh, some Hawaiian dishes. Like here we can make poi, and then the leaves we can make uh, uh, lau lau, and we'll do that in a separate video. It kind of looks like really big celery. Does it not? Hopefully, uh, we will be able to save the bulbs so we can reuse for next year. Once I pull this out, you can see all the roots from the sterols, which acts as uh, another layer of filtration. See all these roots? Filter media, natural filter media. For some reason, all of them are green, but this one's like pinkish. I don't know why actually, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why. But all they right. do look like big celery or like, oh, I touched it. Uh, be careful. Hold on, I'm gonna get this stuff. What's gonna happen to me? I touched it. Comment down below if this is poisonous because I just touched it and my finger might get like... So yeah, comment down below because I'm kind of scared. And so is my finger. And editor, add this part in or else. 
Okay, thank you. Next clip. Now a moment. Should the bulbs get big or not? Oh my gosh, that's a real big knife actually. See these? For next year, we're gonna puncture. Oh, we, I did have a lot of holes on these. And basically these roots are another layer of natural filter. Now, these roots, natural filter media, guys. Natural filter media. They're all stuck, apparently. Those look like ginger. Kind of? They kind of look like drumsticks. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, they look like chicken. Try not to cut the bin because I can reuse it. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my god, it's frozen at the bottom. <laughs> look at all the roots, guys. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to probably wash these. Looks like granola. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells disgusting. I'm gonna rinse all this out and cut the roots and get the bulbs out. There he goes to get the hose. Um, so we're gonna let these dry and then we'll plant them next year. That's what it looks like. Get in. Hope the squirrels don't eat them. That's yep. what that looks like. It's really windy right now. And I woke up this morning with a lot of leaves in the pond. So, metal grids goes up. At least I'm going to put the netting for now to keep most of the leaves out of there.